happens when you take eggs out of a cake? It gets wet. <coughs> yeah, and it crumbles, doesn't it? But it's still a cake, right? No, sure. But, yeah, it doesn't hold together and it'll crumble and fall apart. Now, I've said the Pledge of Allegiance many times, and I've heard other people say the Pledge of Allegiance numerous times as well. A saying under God <coughs> the Pledge of Allegiance is not forcing um, religion onto people. You're just declaring your loyalty to the flag and uh, the republic it represents, not God, faith, or a church. God needs to be kept in the Pledge of Allegiance because it holds our country together. Pledge of Allegiance is not the only um, reference to God. It's found in documents, national anthem, um, the Constitution, um, our national motto, public buildings, and even our, on our currency. Um, 200 plus years ago, many of our expressions of national identity and patriotism have referred to God. The Supreme Court says, God gave us the United States and this honorable court. Declaration references God or the Creator four different times in it. Congress begins um, each congressional setting with prayer, and our currency even says, in God we trust. So why is it a problem that we have it in a Pledge of Allegiance if we have it in these other documents? According to undergod.procon.org, more than 80% of Americans support the uh, usage of under God in our Pledge of Allegiance. Some arguments that are made are that it violates the Establishment Clause of the First Amendment or it inhibits the rights of minorities. They believe the Pledge of Allegiance forces religion on children when they recite it in school. The mention of God establishes um, religion which violates the First Amendment, they also say. Minorities say their rights are being violated as well. The majority are not allowing their voices to be heard, but none of these claims are true and they are unfounded. In the Pledge of Allegiance, you are not pledging to God. It says in the Pledge of Allegiance, I, or the Pledge of Allegiance doesn't say, I pledge allegiance to God. It says, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. Since um, you are not pledging to God, religion is not forced on anyone. The amendment says that religion, a religion cannot be established, a specific one, and um, this does not happen in the Pledge of Allegiance. William Rehnquist, a U.S. Supreme Court Justice, um, stated, The phrase, under God, is in no sense a prayer nor endorsement of religion. No one is forced to say the pledge, but out of patriotism and citizenship we should, although it is not required. God is an important part of our country. In different places, documents, and songs that represent our country um, that, um, under, that God is mentioned in. Um, it is, and God is not forced on anyone. We pledge allegiance to the flag as an act of patriotism. Dwight D. Eisenhower said, we are reaffirming the transcendence of religious faith in America's <coughs> heritage and future. In this way, we shall constantly strengthen those spiritual weapons which forever will be our country's most powerful resource in peace or in war. So our country is like a cake, you can see. There's many ingredients that make it up, but without the importance of the A, or God in our country, it will not hold together. It will crumble and fall apart, just like um, the cake without the eggs. So I stand here before you, and I proudly pledge allegiance to the United States of America.